Cheerleaders in mid-season form here at Frickers in Van Wert. We are here on the warm-up to chat about Crestview Night Football with head coach Jared Owens in your fourth year. Coach, and last year was a pretty magical year getting the first playoff win for the program, 8-2 and two regular season. You should have a lot to build on coming into 2014. Yeah, absolutely. It's something that uh, hasn't happened very often, obviously, uh, since 2005 being our last uh, playoff appearance. So um, I think as we get further away from that, we'll appreciate it more and more. Um, but right now, obviously, we're not thinking about that at all. We're focused on 2014 and, and how we can get better to, to make another playoff appearance, hopefully this year. You mentioned two days wrapped up today. What have you seen in camp so far and, and what's the uh, atmosphere been like? A lot of energy, I'm assuming? Yeah, a lot of energy, and, and that's something that we've tried to stress, and the last two days have been great. Um, the most fun thing that we've seen as coaches is our, our 12 seniors have taken the younger guys under their wing and, and helped coach them and helped teach them because we have some guys that have played a lot of football for us, so they know, you know what we expect and they know the techniques that we're trying to teach, and, and it's been fun for us just to be able to take a step back once in a while and, and watch them work with those guys. and. And uh, I think that helps the younger guys. It helps it sink in for them even quicker. Yeah, that must be rewarding for you to get to see that growth. When does that start for the senior class? When do they officially take over and to begin and begin to lead? Is it in the summer or is it right after last season start ends? As, as a group, I think it's happened, you know, throughout the off season. But individually, for some of these kids, they've been leaders for a long time now for us for a couple of years. So um, I think it's been a gradual process for the entire group, but. Um, I think they realize now that it's their team and it's their senior year and they're figuring out that it's going to go fast and, and we're, they're just trying to make the most out of it. Speaking of one of those seniors, Preston Zaleski coming back at the quarterback position, what have you seen out of him so far early on? Um, more than anything, physical growth. I think he's put on you know, 10 or 15 pounds. And, and uh, when we do scout team stuff, he's running the scout team. I don't even have to go in the huddle. He's, he's leading it. He's calling the plays. Um, Scary, kind of, because he start he's starting to think like I do when we're running our that offense. That can't be a bad thing. And you know, yeah, you know, when you have a guy that's figured it out mentally, and then he still has a year left to play, uh, can't be anything but a good thing. And what have you seen out of the seniors in camp in terms of exact leadership examples? Can you can you give me some specific examples of the ways they've taken the younger guys under their wing? Yeah, like I said, just uh, you know, helping them with technique. They see something they did did wrong. They're paying attention and. And uh, one thing that's really stood out is, um, you know, they get their first team reps or whatever, and then they're out there playing scout team right away. So um, they're constantly wanting to play football, and, and they're enjoying themselves, I think. What does the experience of playing in that postseason game last year bring to the table this year? Are they more confident, you think? Uh, I don't know. That's so far away right now. I, I don't know if we're even thinking about postseason right now. Obviously, we're just thinking about – um, getting prepared for our scrimmages and then ultimately getting prepared for week one against Parkway. Got a scrimmage on the 15th at Salina. What are you hoping to get out of that and, and see your guys up against some other competition? Well, I think Salina is going to be really good and uh, it'll be a really good test and a really good uh, measuring point for where we're at right now this far in the season. I think it'll be a physical game and, and Salina likes to spread things out and throw it around and, and we see quite a bit of that throughout the year, um, especially in our first three weeks in the non-conference. So um, it'll be a good measuring point for us, and it'll also um, defensively especially be a good, good, um, uh, good warm-up for what we'll see in the first three weeks. What can we expect on the defensive side of the ball out of the Knights this year? Um, hopefully a fast physical team that tackles well. Um, we got guys flying to the ball, and, and our, we stress trying to get 11 guys to the football as much as possible. Um, we constantly are teaching discipline and, and we work on tackling and, until these guys I'm sure are sick of the repetitions of just the, the form of tackling and the technique of it. Um, so I think uh, uh, we're going to be looking forward to try to get out and hit somebody else against Salina Friday for sure. So they'll do that against Salina, then they have a scrimmage the following week against Van Wert before the opener at Parkway, or home against Parkway rather. Correct. What's the biggest thing you guys need to work on between now and that week one on August 29th? I think for the most part, you know, scheme-wise, we have pretty much everything in that we're going to take into that game, maybe a couple of wrinkles here and there. But uh, special teams is, is a big thing that we need to really improve on. Outside of introducing and, and working on a few of the skills here and there, we haven't uh, spent a ton of time on that yet. So I think um, that phase of the game is something that we really have to focus on before we're ready for week one. Working your way up to week one. Let's talk about the NWC for a minute. Finished tied atop the conference last year. What do you expect the conference to look like this year? Some of the similar teams at the top and, and hopefully you guys as well? It's hard to tell how it'll, everything will shake out, you know. I, 
as far as as far as which teams will be where. But um, looking at what's returning, looking what's at what's left, I think it's going to be as competitive as ever. Um, so we'll see. We'll play the games and see how it falls. Yeah. Are you looking forward to any games in particular? Maybe the guys have Ada circled, given that that was the play the team that took them out of the playoffs last year. Or I, I don't think we're looking forward to any game other than Parkway in particular right now. That's our main focus. Um, but then once we get in the conference schedule every week, such a grind. Um, if you overlook any team, you're going to get shocked. So um, hopefully we can motivate and prepare to win every every week. What's this team's biggest strength right now? I think uh, uh, team camaraderie. We get along pretty well as a group, um, and they're willing to work. Everyone's here right here with us now at Frickers. And final question for you, Coach. Conditioning is always such an important point of emphasis at this time of year. How much did you put on that here in camp, and how much have the guys responded? Well, for us, we stress conditioning starting really June 1st and even before that for the, the kids that aren't in spring sports. So they've been conditioning and, and working out in the weight room all summer. And so it's kind of a balancing act in two days to try to figure out how much more they need or do they need less or where their bodies are at. So we push hard today, this morning uh, again, and then – as we get uh, closer to Friday, we'll back off again. Then we'll ramp things up early next week and then, and then kind of taper off again as we get closer to Van Wert. But I'm happy with where our conditioning is. I think, um, I think we got guys at all different points, but um, overall I think we're in good shape. Knights looking forward to that week one matchup against Parkway. Thanks for taking the time with us, Coach Owens. Best of luck this season. Thanks for having me. Time for a break on the warm-up. When we come back, Mark Kutz will chat with some of the Knights players. Thank you, Crestview Knights cheerleaders. I'm Mark Kutz, joined now by three of the seniors on this Crestview team as we've got Preston Zaleski, the quarterback, also plays a little defensive back, Malcolm Oliver, running back, defensive back, and on the end, Seth Mosier, linebacker, offensive lineman. And let's start with you, Seth. This is a team loaded with talent, shared the NWC crown last year. Is there a target on Crestview's back this season? Uh, I think some teams do have a target, but um, I think everybody's going to go hard on every team. I think there's a bunch of, you know, a bunch of good teams in this conference. So, Malcolm, coming off of a fantastic season, both personally as a, and as a team, what have you done in this offseason to prepare for your senior year? Uh, we, we all have been lifting hard and just going hard every day at two a days. So that's about it right there. Preston, what have you seen out of this team so far this preseason? Uh, this team has heart. We'll go against anybody, and we have the conditioning, so we should be able to go against anybody. What's it like having Malcolm in the backfield with you, Preston? Uh, it's nice. I can hand it off, know he's going to run hard and go to get some yards for me, and I don't have to worry about him not getting yards. Malcolm, same question about Preston. Oh, it was great having Preston as our quarterback. He's really skilled, and he's been back there since freshman year, so he has a lot of experience too. Seth, on the line, you've got these two guys who we've seen the video. They can bust some long runs. As a, from a lineman's perspective, what is it like having a couple of guys capable of, of really making some long plays, some, some big play capabilities on this night team? Uh, it's crazy sometimes. Um, when we're blocking and stuff, they're already past us, which kind of makes it easier for us sometimes. Sometimes we're still blocking people, and they're already 50 yards in front of us. So it's, it's nice. Seth, a couple of weeks now, you'll be taking on Parkway in week one. What, what's it like preparing for the Panthers? Uh, just like every year, it's I've, since freshman year, uh, we've been preparing hard, and we're not going to take it easy. Malcolm, I know that game's most important right now, but are there other games that you particularly are looking forward to? Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of big games this season. We have uh, Wayne Trace, uh, Bluffton, but we take it week by week, though. So, Preston, as a senior, how would you like to see this season play out for you guys? Uh, I'd like to see this season play out great, not lose a game, and play hard and see how far we can go. Knights with high expectations heading into the 2014 football season. We're going to take a timeout here on the warm-up from Frickers when we come back more from Crestview here on WOSN. Third down 
from Frickers here in Van Wert, joined now by three more Knight seniors as we've got Jake Lippy, Jordan Roop, and Justin Overmar joining us. And Jake, we'll start with you. Is there pressure on the Knights this season? Uh, yeah, I would say there's a little bit of pressure since we had such a great season last year. And uh, before that, we hadn't been doing so well. So we really are going to have to execute and uh, repeat what we did last year. Jordan, I know the focus is on 2014, but when you think of 2013, do you remember that first ever playoff win, or is it the next week that lingers in your mind? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. The first playoff win was nice, but I think the second one was it demolished it. It completely ruined it. So I think we need to focus on that, and we can have a great year this year. Justin, what are some of the things the Knights have done in this offseason to, to make sure that uh, getting to the postseason isn't just a, a twice a thing, that's an every year thing for you guys? Um, we changed up our defense a little bit, and I think that's going to help us out a lot. Um, we have a lot of seniors playing on defense uh, as skilled players, uh, linebackers and rovers and stuff, and that's definitely going to help us. You know, Justin, Coach talked a little bit about how this senior class has really been good with the underclassmen. What are some of the ways that you've tried to help out those younger kids? Um, I also play fullback on offense, so whenever I see someone taking the wrong steps or uh, messing up their play, I kind of just tell them, and I'm nice about it most of the time until they <laughs> repeat it. Jordan, for the casual fan in the stands on Friday night, what are they going to see different about this Knights defense? Uh, I think this year it's going to be more, we're going to be running around more, making plays, and hopefully uh, on defense we can score some touchdowns off of it. All right, Jake, what's the Parkway countdown clock at right now? <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think we have a couple more weeks, and then it'll be here. I'm not really sure what the days are. How much do you guys look forward to taking on the Panthers week one? Uh, well, we look forward to it a lot. We count down like the whole year, so it's really a big game. We used to, count, we used to look forward to it more, but now there's, uh, we'll look to it more for some uh, more games, but it's still a pretty big rivalry. The Crestview Knights open up at home against Parkway and then on the road for Hicksville. And then the first of three rebroadcast games on WOSN as they take on Wayne Trace. And then we'll also have the Week 5 matchup at Allen East in Week 7 as they travel to Ada. I want to thank all of our guests here tonight from the Crestview Knights. For Matt Finkel, I'm Mark Coots. We'll see you next time on the warm-up.